to appreciate what I'm doing. I'm making choices. Uh, community stations? Sure. Even some of the mainstream stations have the right. Tuning around the uh, Chinese clone DSP SDR. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Kind of uh, choked on my saliva for a second. So, tuning around, checking out the different signals that he got. <laughs> The speakers on this thing are amazing. <clears throat> it's like it has so much bass that when there's like really nice sound or music, it's almost a boom box in a small box. It's pretty amazing. And it does get uh, <clears throat> medium wave and long wave. You can go down to, say, here. You can go here. Now, because of overload, I will have to. Uh, you know, take care of uh, about the food business that used to be actually this. in the catering business. Make sure that the RF gain is at the minimum. And no even there, no it's kind of a difficult one. There's some kind of mixing product here happening. Although we're hearing 
So this here shouldn't be here, actually. Let's take a look at the... Uh, here we have the... Uh, we have some kind of navigation signal here. When you go at 295... That is uh, coming from South Shore Maritime Station in South Shore, Montreal here. And as we continue, a lot of overloading. But uh, it's, it's getting the signals. It's just uh, zeroing on this. It's interesting how it jumps when you change mode sometimes, but I think it's because of the uh, screen press. Another uh, non-directional beacon here. And of course, medium wave does have some signals, so it can go to. Uh, Anywhere for a bargain. In March 2021, it involved girls under the age of 14. So this is CFRA in Ottawa. On my loop antenna. Rick Gatati, who has taught at St. Matthew's High School in Orleans for 25 years. Watkins is charged with three counts each of sexual assault, sexual interference, and sexual exploitation of a young person. Investigators say there may be more victims. The Ottawa Catholic Board issuing a statement tonight saying, in part, the employee was suspended March 9th when allegations came forward. The board takes this situation. I'll do a little video uh, later on tonight, tuning when the skip comes in from the the U.S. stations. Once again, RF gain needs to be uh, at zero in order for uh, medium wave to be received because all the Montreal's powerful stations are overloading the device, if I'm not, with the uh, outdoor loop. But, uh, you know. And lots of overloading and lots of spurious signals on the medium wave band, unfortunately. And that's because... It can't really cope with the uh, with the signal levels. Let's see if we can get uh, the two uh, stations, one from the UK, the other one from Ireland, Shannon Volmet, and uh, so let's try first of all Shannon, which should be here. Let's put uh, the uh, RF gain a little higher, and now let's. Upper sideband. Uh, signals tonight seem to be a little on the weird side. I wouldn't think it's the radio necessarily. So this one is uh, UK Royal Air Force. And that one isn't super strong. So UK Royal Air Force is not super strong, but it's there. There's some uh, weirdness happening tonight on the signals, I believe. Of course, you can touch the screen and tune anywhere outside of the frequency range you are at when you touch the screen. Definitely an interesting device. I know that a lot of you looking at this are like, wow, this is so cool. Uh, it is, but... But, um, you know, it's, like a, it's not like a mainstream radio from a, a, a well-known company that you, you, you know, you just go and get. And, and you know, um, if you do get this, I would get it from uh, a seller that it's, it's easy to, well, you know, it's kind of easy. I mean, I got it for free technically now because I complained to the seller and he refunded the money completely. So... 
Honestly, I haven't paid a cent right now. So I can't complain about a radio that has glitches, but I haven't paid a cent for. But if I had not got my money back, yeah, it's an it's expensive purchase for something that did have some glitches in my case. Um, I'll have a video explaining a few things about this that might clear up some of the smog. Because I see a lot of people complaining about things that they don't know. And the complaint isn't totally there. And don't forget, the biggest complaints of this device is the one that's the cheapest, 74 bucks. This one, even though I did have some problems, a lot of people that did get it are not complaining. Um, you know, I was maybe a little unlucky. But, um, you know, it's a tough one. It's, it's tough to talk about a radio when you've got some glitches, but when you also see some of the reviews and some of the things that... And it's a complex device, and there are very various uh, versions of it, not all equal to each other. Um, what I understand, once again, and this is what I'll state, having the two buttons on the right tells you you got the higher end version. That is... Uh, uh, obvious um, everywhere that I've seen the two buttons on the right this version is the more expensive more complete internal version of the radio so remember that I think it's important to remember that so I'll uh, do more videos if you have questions uh, please do ask the questions and um, as for the link to the seller I will not give it but I will give you pointers that you got this with the two buttons on the right. You got an higher end version. And look for the versions that are so sold. And especially if you're not very tech savvy, once again, look for the versions that are sold with the code and the full version of the, the software already. It's going to avoid so many problems and be so much better for you. And remember... Not much information on, you know, manuals to use this. That you also have to understand. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.